Now, one really exciting thing to come out of this was to be able to bring back the extremely talented creative team of The Ballad of Emmett Till, which was produced by our next company, The Fountain Theater. That show is still available on their website, which you can find in the digital program. The Fountain now presents Talking Peace by France Luce Benson, directed by Dr. Daphne Seacray. Because I thought what I needed was for him to hear me, but maybe I don't need him at all. I mean, I'm just so fucking tired. I'm tired of explaining what a microaggression is. I'm tired of explaining what appropriation is. And I'm so tired of washing the dishes. I mean, his clothes are everywhere. He's all in my head and I, I feel like I'm going crazy. You know, I think he was only in love with half of me. The half that allowed him to not have to be accountable. <laughs> Partly my fault. Not not honoring my blackness. I mean, I've just been so conditioned to oppress and suppress that part yeah. of me. Uh huh. So I, I really mm -hmm. want to make space for that exploration without. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pat. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, would you like us to reflect back? We got you, sister. But first, welcome, Andrea. I'm so glad you could make it. Sisters, this is the sister I said will be joining us late. Andrea, would you like to introduce yourself? You're muted. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> um, namaste, ladies. I'm, I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, it's all good. Please tell us what brought you here. Sure. Um, well, I'm Andrea. Is it first names only? Oh, it's not that kind of meeting. <laughs> Whatever you want, sister. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm... Oh, no, just, just a second. Just a second. Do you have a talking piece? Oh, yeah. Right here. Um, this was actually passed down from my grandmother. She was a Holocaust survivor and, and she was only 17 when she arrived in Brooklyn alone. I mean, she got a job at a beauty salon. She learned how to do hair and makeup and nails. And, and after she married my grandfather, they opened up their own salon in Crown Heights and raised seven girls. She devoted her life to making women look and feel their best so they can live their best life. And, and I wear this to remind myself that strength and, and fabulosity is in my DNA. <laughs> <laughs> and what brought you here? Well, I, I met Sade on this app for single sex positive scholars. It, it wasn't a love connection, but, but we made a deeper connection as women of color. I mean, we talked about everything going on and, and how to process it all and well, she invited me to the circle, so <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Ashe, welcome. We should, oh, Michelle, can, can you hold on one second? I, I, I see you, sister. I just, I just want to, you know, <laughs> keep going. Oh, Ashe, go ahead. Yeah. I just need to say that I'm feeling really triggered right now, and... Oh. I was already triggered before I shared because mm -hmm. ending things with Greg triggered all this grief. So, you know, and then sharing triggered me being triggered. And so I'm in a really vulnerable place right now. And mm -hmm. we're mm -hmm. about to reflect back when this, when Alexandra joined and interrupted the flow. So in the spirit of self-care, I'm asking that we please reflect back on what I shared before we go any further. I pass. I pass out. Thank you, sister. Uh, Michelle, <laughs> I think I should um, continue. I, I have the talking piece. Thank you, sister. 
Michelle, I acknowledge you, goddess. I feel you. I reflect back. But yo, before we reflect all the way back to Michelle, we need to reflect up to a minute ago and address the white elephant in the Zoom. No disrespect, Amelia, but I, like I also am feeling triggered right now because uh, last time I checked, Jewish ain't black. I pass. Erica. Thank you, sister. So, Mita, I totally agree with what everybody has said. And I also want to hold space for whatever, um, Amanda? It's it's Andrea, like like it's written in my box. So you don't need to get hostile or confrontational and shit. I didn't remember. And like, I'm on the phone. My boxes are mad small and whatever. I apologize, Andrea. Anyway, like I was saying, I agree with Michelle. I agree with Pascal. And... I want to hold space for Mich for Michelle or Andrea, but I'm feeling mad triggered right now. But you know, I want to hold space for Amanda, I mean, Andrea, because it seems like Andre Andrea has issues she needs to work through. And I get that. And that's cool. But like, I feel like in the spirit of our collective self-care that we can let Andrea work through her shit at the end of the circle or like maybe some other circle, because there are other circles seven days a week for other people, maybe... There's just some other meetings you can attend for people such as yourself. Cause like to piggyback off of Pascal, you're not black. Pascal. Thank you. I'd like to add that- uh, Wait, I wait, wait. I, I feel the need to interject I here, uh, ladies. I and I just want to say that I don't appreciate- um, I promise, sister, I will let you speak, but we need to process what just happened. Andrea, what's coming up for you? A Andrea, baby, you're muted. Sorry. Yeah, well, I guess I'm, I don't know what to say. Uh, Pascal. I, Damn, I lost my train of thought. Thank God. I mean, maybe we should just- What we uh, do is move this funky energy, okay? With your everyone's permission, I'd like to lead us in an energy shift. I, I don't think that's such a- Oh, <laughs> oh go ahead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. So let's close your eyes. You too, Abigail. Now let's ground ourselves in that funk. Feel your feet digging, just sinking all the way in that funk. Let it get between your toes and let your toes and your feet get all funky in the funk. Stank. Ooh. Mm. Feel it travel up your leg. Yes, feel it up your thighs. Uh-huh. Butt crack, back, belly, pussy. Oh, yes, let it get all up in there. And now push it out. Ugh. Push, push, push. Ah. Mm, 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 mm. That is some ugly funk. Open up your eyes and look at it. Go on. That's right. You see that? Who gonna clean that up? You know who? We are. You know how? We are going to- Oh, uh, that's enough, Pascal. Thank you for that. Uh, now that we're back on track, let's reflect back to Michelle. Uh, Michelle, how can we support you, sister? I'd like to hear from Pascal. Yeah, but. <laughs> yes, goddess. Michelle, you've been talking about your man a while now. And I support you 100% and letting his white ass go. And I'm proud of you for being so honest about Allison here. And if I can be honest, I'd have to admit that I was triggered and traumatized when you first joined the group as well, Michelle. But I gave you a chance and it transformed me. 
So maybe we need to give Allison a chance. Even though Sade was wrong for not telling us Allison was white. My name is Andrea, and I don't Excuse identify. Excuse me, you do not have the talking piece. You've had your time, Pascal. Let's you don't have out. it either, Sade. For fuck's sake, we all have the friggin' talking piece. Now that's just inappropriate, Andrea. Mm -hmm. What? The talking piece is sacred. Sacred. Are you serious right now? Very serious. Erica? See, this is why we have boundaries. You see what I'm saying? We have structures and guidelines, agreements, rules. Like no white people. I'm not mm -hmm. white. I mean, if you, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Okay. This doesn't feel productive. And, and I take full responsibility. I compromise the safety of this container by not... What is it, Pascal? Can we table your amends and rewind and reflect back to what I think I heard from Amanda? Andrea. My bad. What Andrea said about not being white. Um, huh? So, my grandmother who gave me this pendant was Jewish and my grandfather was from Argentina. His mother was Peruvian. Oh, and my daughter is Vietnamese. Where does the black come in? Oh, I never said I was black. I mean, it was my understanding, sorry. It was my understanding that this was a group for women of color. BIPOC, yes. And Since when? Andrea, I still have the talking piece. Child, please, we all have the talking piece. And that's what I we said. We have talking piece. Let's just be messy and put it all out there. You know what? Fine. But if you start talking over each other, I am muting you bitches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I said bitches. Mm -hmm. The shit has gone way left, so I'm not trying to be PC right now. What do you have to say, Pascal? It was my understanding that this was a black women's circle. I don't know whether I pop came in. First of all, these circles are molded after indigenous traditions. Okay. I guess that explains the I. What about the POC? I thought it was implied when we let Michelle in the group, but. <laughs> Excuse me? Let me. Okay. Calm down. Yeah. Stop being so dramatic. I have as much right to be here as all of you, especially you, Pascal. How you figure? I'm black. Whoa, if I can reflect back, whatever. What I heard not more than five minutes ago is like you are just now discovering, exploring, admitting, coming to terms, whatever, with the fact that you are half black. Where's the lie? Well, in the spirit of complete transparency, I made an exception for you too, Pascal. Hmm. Thank you. I mean, you're black, but you're not black, black. What's this now? I mean, you're Caribbean, Haitian. Which is black. But not black American. Actually, I am American. But your ancestors are not from here. Neither are yours. You know what I mean. I have living relatives who were here during Jim Crow. My grandmother was at the March on Washington. I am 100% completely blackity black, 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 black. Mm -hmm. With a white girl fetish. Oh. I have a fetish, but Michelle has relationships. Okay. Michelle's relationships? What do you mean relationships? I have already acknowledged that this one time that... What is it, Andrea? I cannot believe how hostile this group is. I mean, this is not just triggering. This is traumatizing. And it is bringing up generational trauma. I mean, like you. Okay, uh, not right now, Andrea. Well, we, we're working through some shit. Now, look, Pascal, I'm American, okay? In, black is black. Don't patronize America, me. I didn't just come off of a boat. Damn, you all are so sensitive. You all? What are you saying, Erica? Who, by the way, is also Caribbean? I was born here. My father is black, black, black. American. And your mother is Dominican, and we know how y'all are. 
I have always, always identified as black. And I have always identified as black and white biracial. Yeah, but Michelle. What? Come on, sister. We got to break it down for you. I have seen with my own eyes how police treat you. When? That time at the museum. I mean, he was a security guard, but... And I have walked through Nordstrom's and Bloomingdale's with you on numerous occasions and observed a noticeable difference from when I was walking with Pascal. And what about Fellini's? What does Fellini's have to do with anything? Whenever you and I go to Fellini's, we add our tip. When it's me, you, Erica, and Sade, they add the gratuity to our check. That's because it's more than three people. Girl, please. Girl, please. Look, look are you for real? No. Okay, fine. No. You, you want me to admit that I'm privileged. I thought I already did, but I'll do it again. I am privileged. And I'm also a survivor of racial oppression. And I'm here to work through all of that and learn and, and, and listen. Look, I love you all. Not, not just like sisters, but like sisters. And maybe I also resent the fact that you are so clear about your identity. I mean, there's no ambiguity and you all have this deep connection to your history that I was never taught in my family. And I've, I've envied you. Oh my God. I've, oh, what is this feeling? Oh God, what am I? <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. So, Sister, that is what we call a breakthrough. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Pascal. <sighs> Michelle, you inspired me. So I want to apologize for any harm I may have caused tonight. I guess I'm still working through my own feelings of displacement, not knowing where I fit. Am I American? Am I Haitian? Can I be both? I mean, if I drop the hyphen, then, oh my God, who am I? A member of our community and an important part of our circle. Erica. Pascal, sister, as a Dominican, it is a gift to work on my issues with you in this circle. You're right. My mother has said some messed up shit like she wishes I was lighter or I should straighten my hair. I got a lot of anger. And I gotta be careful not to take it out on you, on any of you. I will channel my rage to fight white supremacy. <laughs> Preach. Yeah. Preach, yes. <laughs> oh, what a powerful circle. This is what healing looks like, ladies. <laughs> now to close, I suggest we breathe in all this love and understanding and sisterhood. Yes? Mm -hmm. Ashe. 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 Beautiful. <sighs> Turns up off the wall and it's filling the room. The DJ thinking this is how it's supposed to be. The moment always for you to know your truth. Alleviate concerns in the place to be. The purpose and cause is controlling the youth. You know inside you really want to go and get loose. So let it out cause tonight is a different book. So don't act like you don't know what to do. Yeah, mm, I know you want to get involved.